wanted to talk with you first because I know you could kind of get where I was coming from with a lot of these things and um, I just really really so admire what you've been able to do to sort of take your brand, take your name girl! Thank you. And kind of do your thing and, 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 and focus on the things that you love. Yeah. So how are you? Yeah, how well, it? I, it's, you? It's, uh, it's very fun and it's also mind-blowing to me at the same time when I talk to other people who say that about me. They're like, look what you've been able to do. And like, I do have moments pretty often where I kind of sit back and I remember like, oh yeah, like it's only been a, a couple of years mm -hmm. and here I am. Like I rebranded myself. Like I was on Much Music talking about One Direction and now people want me to like tell them how to live and eat a plant-based lifestyle and they want to know everything I do because it's somehow aspirational or inspiring, right? Mm -hmm. Like YouTube's been this amazing platform for me where I could really say everything and anything I ever wanted to and be well received. But what's the scariest part? I mean, I'm still on a high. I'm still on a high. I'm busted out. Yeah, you're like, I love to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I know there will come a time. And this is not the first time that I have, uh, you know, broken away, done something on my own. Except when I was doing the media huddle, that was focused on yet another brand. Yeah. I stepped out and I went behind another brand yet again. Instead of saying, listen, let me just embrace my name, my own self. You know what I mean? So I really want to, this is what I want to yeah. do this time around. But yeah. What's what's hard? What is what is what are some of the challenges? One of the scariest things I think, especially because we come from TV, was um, like how to just like not care. Right. Like especially you come from no, CB2, which true. is like which is like which is like which news. Is a little more like, yeah. news. Hello. Yeah, it's news. Yes. You have a prompter. You're like super proper and professional, it's and like so you true, are girl. that person, but you're also no. super fun and Nick Elliott, who like. Nobody knows, probably. Yeah, Anyone yeah. who knows you from news doesn't really know, like... There's another who, side, yeah. there's so a you're regular now, person. you got to show that, and, like, you have to get... The, the, theory, the scariest part is getting over that, like, getting over that weird weirdness of, like, oh, yes. yeah, I'm just here by myself. I can That's do anything true, and no. say anything. Oh, my anything. God, that is so difficult. But it's going to take right. some practice, I feel like, but just keep making content, keep making videos. And mm -hmm. I always say, too, like... Because people are like, how do you get into YouTube and how do you do it? And I'm like, just do it. Like, yeah. even if your content's not the best and it's not going to look like that in six months, <clears throat> it's, it needs to evolve and you need to just start putting stuff out there mm -hmm. so that you get comfortable with it. So it starts revealing like more aspects of your personality to an audience that's out there kind of waiting. You don't even know that they're there waiting for you. Because I literally have one video up thanks to my subscribers. Yay. Thank you. I think I have like... 86. Yeah, yeah, remember those ones from the beginning. Yes. They're from the beginning. 100%. It's true, you mm -hmm. know. But um, I need to get channel art. I need to do link biz, all this stuff. I, and I don't, I have no clue. Okay. I don't really know what's going on. And you can show me some stuff later on. Yeah. But what are some of the things about creating, being a creator? that um, is challenging. Mm -hmm. Like what, I mean, keeping up with the videos, I can imagine this yeah. is a big the part. Okay, so the schedule is like, one of, it's it's not a hard thing to keep up with once you figure it out. Like mm -hmm. I'd say at the beginning, I was all over the place. I started with Hot for Food, I have two channels. So on Hot for Food, I, I just decided it was gonna be one day a week and that one day switched like it was a Sunday and then I realized Wednesday would be better. So I feel like at the beginning for the first little while, it's okay to like play around with that schedule a bit yeah. because you don't have a ton of people depending on the schedule. But in order to build more followers and subscribers, you have to be consistently posting so that they understand when they can get your content. Mm -hmm. So I feel like at the beginning, that's a bit of a weird thing to wrap your head around because you kind of just want to create and not worry about, oh, I gotta get it out by a certain day. But I would advise you to try to establish some type of schedule now just for yeah. yourself because you'll start being you know, all over the place with different projects and you just want to know, okay, every Monday and Wednesday I'm posting a video or mm -hmm. whatever the days might be. Okay, hold on, two seconds. <laughs> I'm just paranoid, I'm paranoid. I'm, just, oh, yeah, I'm, I'm scared. Yeah, yeah, all these technical yeah. things are hard. Um, yeah. <laughs> like, I didn't know how to use a camera, um, and so I figured that out. But that was like everything. I didn't know how to make a blog, and I made a blog. I didn't know what SEO was, and I figured that out. I didn't mm -hmm. know how to get Google AdSense, and I figured that out. So you just, you are very proactive. I, obviously, you're here doing this now, and like, to have that mentality and to have that drive and attitude of like, I'm just going to figure it out. 
is really important and that's really the only way you can thrive I think in the YouTube world because especially coming from TV where you're used to someone doing everything for yeah. you yeah. there's a camera person there's a producer there's a writer there's a makeup person it's like get rid of all like that's not gonna happen so you might as well just go with <laughs> your you. own. Yeah. yeah so yeah. and you have to be able to work that way um, it might get to a point where you can hire a crew and stuff right. like that which is cool but I would say from the get-go you have to be very DIY once you build more content, start playlisting your stuff in themes. So you might have like my life and it's just like Those vlogs videos. and then okay. you might have like interviews and like make an interview playlist and like have your content sort of like easily yes. visible and digestible by people. Okay, yeah, because I want to do a bunch of different types of videos yeah. like I was saying to you. So there'll be this kind of stuff yeah. and then there'll be more lifestyle out in the field, so to speak, yeah. doing things. So, okay, that's a good point because I didn't know what that that was what the playlists. That's what a yeah, playlist is, Yeah, I can show is, you right? some of the technical back end. That's that, but you'll okay. really just get that from diving in, uploading videos and playing around. Okay. And then it's funny because anything you don't know, you can also just YouTube it. It's yeah, like yeah, it's true. How to set up a YouTube channel. Like everything's on YouTube, which is <laughs> the coolest thing. And that's how I learned a lot is I just was like, I don't know what I'm doing. And I would YouTube a video for, for any little technical thing I couldn't understand. What? Uh, how do you? How did you figure out that Wednesday was a good day for you? Was that just that was personal, based on? Or? Yeah, that was based on me. It, it had nothing to do with like the best upload days. Like you'll see videos or blogs and articles about like Friday after this time is the best time to post on this platform. I've never followed mm -hmm. those rules. Like okay. there's a lot of that kind of information out there, and yeah. it can start to get really overwhelming when you strategize too much. Um, I haven't really strategized much because it, for me, my, my strategy is always what do I want to do and what does my gut tell me to do? Mm -hmm. That's my only strategy. If something feels weird or it's, I'm kind of over it, like I was posting on Sundays, but that was a hard day for me to get a video posted because of the weekend Stuff and like having to edit on, Friday yeah. and Saturday to get it out on Sunday. So it didn't make yeah. sense. Once I started doing it, it didn't make sense. So I just changed it to Wednesday. And it's funny because now I've branded, like everyone knows who follows Hot For Food and my channel. When they say, Wednesday's my favorite day because I release a recipe video on Hot For Food and I release a food theme video on my channel. And so they're just like so literally hungry for that stuff. Yeah. That like Wednesday's now my day. And they people know. know. So eventually we'll get to that point where they're like excited about a day because they know you're gonna release a certain type of content. and so bringing that schedule, bringing that consistency to the table over the, the first year that you're going to build is really important. Yeah. Hmm, okay. Anybody could just make a video one day and it's like all of a sudden something you said, something you wore, something you did made everybody pay attention. And that's not why I do it, but I do understand that like it's kind of out of my control. Like mm -hmm. as long as I do what I want to do and like I stay true to who I am and say what I want to say, then that's how I feel like I've been able to get like re receptivity on YouTube. Yeah. It's just not like hiding behind anything and not pretending anything and just being me and like I couldn't ever do that on television. Which is sometimes difficult like we were saying <clears throat> just the being you letting go yeah figuring out you know and not wanting to be judged so, so to speak. That's the other hard part but, is like reading yeah. comments. Yes hello <laughs> <laughs> but luckily I haven't, had, I haven't had like an outrageous amount of negative comments at all. Okay. But because I do talk about vegan lifestyle and so sometimes like, you know, more like hot button, po like, you know, political things, ethical yes. things. I don't, tr I don't try to go there, but sometimes I say things. And so people just want to share opinions, but that's what I like about YouTube is that you can have these conversations about anything.